coming up this week on Archer's Choice. Archer's Choice. Part two of Iowa. We're back in Iowa with Tales of the Hunt, and we've got lots of footage to show you. Do we? Yeah, we do. Wow, lots of action. We're going to start up with Joe, but before we do that. No, Lucky Logo. Lucky logo Everyone's Hoyt. been waiting on this one, and okay. that's right. Show 13, the last one is It's Hoyt. It's Hoyt. So. Get him where it Hoyt's and get serious, because somebody is going to win a brand new Hoyt bow this week. That's right. So the show will tell you what to do with that, but first we need to get into Joe's hunt in Iowa. Jo Joe is definitely in the rut. Uh, well, no, let me, the, no. the, the deer, the deer the in the rut. Joe. Joe's in the middle of the deer rut. Something yeah. like that. Joe? Let's just get to Joe's hunt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this morning we had this hind pointer out in the field. He was bedded with a doe in the corner, just chasing bucks off his doe, locked up. No response to calls. So Gary and I got down, pulled our boots off, and put a stalk on him. We got the 43 yards, and the wind shifted, and that doe started to blow. So instead of blowing these deer out, right, or wrong, or indifferent, we decided to back out, get back in the tree and watch and see if she'll pull him over to us. They're right behind us. They gotta be 85 yards, maybe. She's bedded right here. He's marking some brush back there, beating it up, making some noise. We are stoked. And if we're lucky, she'll pull him right past us in his pasture. I got a shot right here. This buck was locked down with that doe all day long. We put a stalk on him in the morning, got back in a tree when the wind shifted. That doe brought him into 80 yards behind us and bedded down, locked up. All she had to do is walk down the fence line, bring him with, and we had a shot. What did she do? Go into the timber. But it's a rut in Iowa and anything can happen. spotted him. He didn't bring his binos. He said, Joe, what's that white spot? I put the glasses up and sure enough, it's this nine pointer. We're in Iowa with Tales of the Hunt and this is what the rut is about. Praise Jesus. In the Spitfire loaded him up, baby. <laughs> 
When the Beeman's that color, you know it's good, buddy. We're in Southwest Iowa hunting with Tales of the Hunt, Aaron Volkmer. And uh, this is my first time ever hunting Iowa. We've been watching this buck all day. We actually got down and put a stalk on him with a bed of doe. And then things didn't work out the way we wanted to. We backed back out, got back in a stand, and we sat all day the rest of the day waiting for him. He bedded again with this doe 80 yards behind us. And uh, we were patient, and it paid off. Hey, don't go away, because when we come back, well, yeah, Cam, these are way bigger rattling horns than what you got. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Hey, Joe, way to go. Good job. He was into it, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Here, I'll take those. I'll put them up high since, you know, make it easier on you. Got more? You're lower to the ground. It's easier for you to bend over and give me so I can put them up there. Now we're going to join Cameron Haynes. He joined us out there at Talos of the Hunt in Iowa, and it's his turn to be out in the tree stand. Yeah, got Cam's got his Hoyt, his real tree, and no, I ain't helping you no more. Come on. No, I'm Help done. Me out. I'm done. We invited Cam to come out to the Midwest and hunt whitetails with us in Iowa and he's used to that western hunting stuff, that spotting and stalking, so we made sure when he was in that tree stand and his Ameristep that we had that hunter safety system on there snug and tight as can be just to make sure that he wasn't thinking about getting on that stand and doing some spotting and stalking on us. Cam is, he, he's a Western hunter. And for him to, to you know, just get buckled down and, and to have the patience, because there's a lot of hunters out there that really, if they're used to being out West, to come back to the Midwest and sit down and, and, and just wait it out, it's pretty hard for a lot of them. and also what I expected, so we're just gonna give him some time. Um, I don't know if, uh, you know, I got the one lung, uh, I don't know, he just went, he went a little further than what I'd like. Um, he went about probably 150 yards, so uh, still good blood, not too depressed yet, but uh, 
We're just gonna give the broadhead some time to do his job and uh, we'll come back on him. We're here, beginning of November, perfect time. Um, just can't say enough about the outfit we're hunting with here. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just been a great experience with great people. And uh, I don't know, I, I never take a bow kill for granted, that's for sure, because I know how tough every single one of them is. And I had my reservations about tonight even, you know, I mean, a 30 yard shot on an awesome animal is exactly what you want. And uh, I mean, it wasn't a slam dunk. It's uh, really had me on pins and needles, but everybody's pretty confident and pretty supportive. We've got out here, we've got a pile of people out here to, to help blood trail. And I don't know, I just feel real blessed to be here in Iowa with uh, some new good friends and old friends and making memories. It's uh, just amazing. I've had a good time, hunted really hard. Feel lucky. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. Shot placement. Well, guess what? If your arrow's not flying true shot placement, <laughs> ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Here's the thing, a great little tool. Right here, P Pine Ridge Archery makes this little portable, weighs nothing, spin check. You'd be amazed at how many different inserts or just whatever, gluing it in doesn't, you, know, you don't do it right. Well, this is the bottom line for your check. What you do, you get it here, you mount your broadheads and you spin them. And when you can spin each one and you see that there's absolutely no deviation, there is no wobble in the front end of that broadhead. It is, it is absolutely spinning true. My whole arrow is perfectly straight. No matter what design broadhead, from a mechanical to a fixed to a combo me mechanical fixed. And I have no deviation. That right there is gonna make you more successful in the field. And that is your Bowhunting World Tip of the Week. Don't go anywhere, because when we come back with the Archer's Choice, we've got more big whitetail hunting in Iowa. Ooh, it's a big chunk right That's there. That's right. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Hey, Cameron, congratulations. Get away, Cam. I think he finally understands what Midwest Whitetails is all about. Yeah, that boy, he likes to be crawling and climbing and, and everything, but... He's not a tree stamp, but he did good. He did good. He did really good. Get now away, it's Cam. my turn. Oh. In Iowa. Just what I've been waiting for. In my stand, first camera light. It's pretty cool. Because you got your dough. You I donated dough. to the Hush program yeah. like you were now, a good girl. Now I'm hunting for some bucks. Huh. Mm -hmm. Joe shooter. First light, we had this beautiful buck come through and tap Joe. I said, Joe, there's a buck. And we're watching him come up. He goes down the ravine. He comes up and he goes walking. And I'd have had like a 25 yard shot on this buck, except for there's this huge branch in my way.
Don't go anywhere because Ralph is finally up in Iowa. We'll see what he can do. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's, it's a song. Is it really? Yeah, it is. Wow. It's your turn. It's about you know, time. I've been doing all the chopping. I mean, stacking well, it, and everything. What have you been doing all day? You're the man. You're supposed to be doing that stuff. And what do you do? I go and hunt in the princess stand. We saw a lot of different bucks down there in Iowa. We were hunting. It was kind of a management area. So we had to wait. A management area? We were managing the deer. We're oh. making sure that we're waiting for more mature bucks. But we saw a lot of really oh good gosh. young bucks with lots of potential. Wait till you see what's going to happen And I next. was just wanting to release an arrow so bad on some of them. Oh my gosh. But now it's your turn. And your two seconds. So in other second, words, you didn't get it done, so. I didn't, but um, your two second rest is over. We got a pile of wood to chop. Chop, chop. Oh, I'm sorry. Look and see. He might come. He's going to get in the dough inside. You'll see that decoy. watch this doe come running out and this buck's following it and we're like hmm good buck oh yeah uh, so I hit the I hit the antlers I'm rattling and this boom he locks up he starts to come and hope we're hoping that he's gonna jump the fence and come in front nope he comes on the downwind side gets our scent and well you know what happens next The wind. The wind. I don't, you could do everything you want, but when the wind just, huh, and it, it we happens. were so close, but. I mean, we had so many great encounters with deer out there in Iowa. And I mean, the program that Thank Iowa Thank you, has, Tales of the Hunt. And I mean, yeah. you're right. The Hush program. The Hush program is awesome. That, that is a program that all DNRs, even provinces, should actually look at and try to establish because we could learn so much from Iowa and the Hush program. It is, it is showing sportsmen and women and what we do for everybody. That's right. Hey, if you happen to see the Lucky logo, which was Hoyt. Hoyt, baby. Gonna win a brand new Hoyt bow. Hit him where it Hoyt's and get serious because you could win your Hoyt bow this week. Are you done? Uh, yeah, I thought so. Okay, log on to archerschoice.com. Click on the Lucky logo button, fill out the information, and someone is gonna win a great new Hoyt bow. <laughs> Folks, we can't thank you enough for supporting us. For This is the 11th season of Archer's Choice. Yeah. And I want you to know, don't be, don't be nervous because we are coming back. Thanks to everybody. Thanks to you, the sponsors and the big guy upstairs. I mean. Yeah, there's no getting rid of us. You're stuck. <laughs> no, we're like glue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Probably. <laughs> what the heck. But, but oh. really, without all of you, without the support, and the, the thousands of emails, and everybody coming to see us when we do the appearances, we cannot truly thank you enough. Thank you so much, and we really hope you, you enjoyed this week's show. And we'll see you next time, same channel, different week, right here on the Archer's Choice. Choice. <laughs> Where was she going with that one? <laughs>